Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here yet again with another random buy unboxing. This one from eBay. Um, huge lot, approximately 4,000 cards. And let's take a look at some pictures here. Bunch of fat pack uh, boxes open. And sure enough, like it says in the description, there's about 500 cards. You can fit almost 600 cards into a fat pack box. Um, so that's going to. Um, be a nice bunch to look through. There's really nothing too exciting that is actually showing and I'm not expecting anything really exciting. I'm expecting this to be more of like an old-fashioned bulk pick. Um, there is one rare shown here. It's not a great one, but I do like to see that because there is the potential for more rares potentially spread through here and often people leave behind amazing stuff and a seller like this um, you can see that this hand may not be your typical magic player's hand, if you know what I mean. Um, this guy, when you look at his information, let's first off, let's look at the description here. He says he doesn't know much about these. And um, a lot of the listings that you see on eBay where they say exactly that, you really get the, the idea that that's a lie. Because <laughs> you'll see in their history that they do sell these things. Um, so we're on a listing like this where you look at this seller and you see his other items for sale in his store is just the run of the mill kind of stuff you'd get at thrift stores and estate sales and you know storage auctions um, this guy's information says he just kind of does eBay flipping for fun he's definitely kind of an older guy but he's, he's sharp uh, one thing you can do to dig really deep is to look into his sold listings and for magic cards in particular you're going to go under the toys and hobbies heading and sure enough here he sells some toys and hobby stuff but you can actually further refine that down to collectible card games right now for sale he has a tarot card deck and if you look at his sold listings the only other thing he's ever sold collectible card games is this listing that I got um, for 147 and 18 bucks to shipping so we're gonna call that about 165 so we're gonna open this box and see what we get like I said I don't expect there to be anything super amazing but often I am very surprised to find that there are some really good stuff in um, bulk looking boxes like this so let's take a look <clears throat> all right here is the box from actually I took all that information off sorry about that but it ended up being about 19 pounds uh, which about 4,000 cards would be about 16 pounds so we may actually have some extras in here there's probably some weight from the fat pack boxes um, and whatever packing is in here uh, we'll take a look at that here in a second. In the box is some paper and stuff. Throw that over there. Nice bubble wrap. So, looks like that's a Dark Ascension fat pack box. Let's just take a quick peek in here and see if there's anything worth getting excited about. Some mirrored and besieged stuff, some basic lands, part of a deck. So the cards that were in sleeves looked like uh, they might have been deconstructed decks. And again, so I'm not expecting um, much more than maybe just a big bulk pick. So some Ravnica stuff, mirrored in. So um, could be several sets and years worth of stuff to look through. An Innistrad fat pack box. Just a little sam sample. Yep. Oh, there's a Delver. So that's, this is what I'm talking about, where this will just be kind of a bulk pick. And uh, maybe there will be some decent stuff left behind, but it may just mostly be commons and uncommons. And that's fine. That's what you get sometimes. Hoping for rares gonna go through it um, efficiently here 
over the course of some time, and I'll put it all together. Avicen, Zendikar, so yeah, it's definitely all over the place. Um, set wise, see there we go, Devout Lightcaster, Diagraph Captain, so there are some rares in here. Um, and hopefully there will be some good rares left behind, but we won't know until we go through all of it. 4,000 plus cards. It's a lot to go through. It takes a long time. Whoops. Don't do that. All right. Let's clear this off and we'll do it the right way here. Well, here's the tragic thing that happened. As you can see, I had some technical difficulties. I actually lost the audio for this entire first portion of my scan through. Um, so just kind of speeding up through it here very quickly. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of exciting stuff in this first bunch. I'll provide a little commentary now for the things that I found that were decent at this point. At this point, I had found a few things that were kind of interesting, like Ghost Quarters and Delver of Secrets, uh, commons that weren't quite bulk, but also weren't really money cards either. And here I run across some Czech lands, um, some foreign and English, got a Sun Petal Grove, and some Rootbound Crags, and they're pretty decent. The foreign ones are a little harder to sell, but I'm happy to have them. And here is a Triumph of the Hordes, which is a pretty nice uncommon to pull out of the stack. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that I hope to find when I bulk pick and wasn't completely disappointed to find that in a Faithless looting. Little things like that, they, they definitely add up.
And here, another triumph for the hordes. Was hoping to see more than just two, but hey, I'll take what I can get. Okay, back again to continue going through the rest of this lot. Um, the first section, we lost the audio from that, so there's no commentary um, for that. I do apologize, but we carry on, right? Honor of the Pure from M12. It's a cheap anthem just for your white creatures. Buck 82. Can't complain about that. Oh, timely reinforcements. Good. Couple bucks. Alright, well, we're on our way. Hey, another Honor of the Pure. So someone had their deck here and got kind of deconstructed Tezzeret's Gambit with uh, Phyrexian mana okay not bad buck 47 and another stalker good bing that one was a bit Hey, another honor of the pure. So, left behind some of the lesser rares from that deck. Probably pulled whatever else was worth more at the time. Juggernaut, here's a Delver. I think that might be the one we saw when we opened the box, or I don't know, we got one already. That's what we're looking for. Pickable stuff like that. Timely reinforcement. So this blue, these blue sleeves, this deck was like a white anthem deck. And a foil, whoops, yeah, this foil common can go here. Foil planes, same deal, we'll put it there. Another honor of the pier. This one out of the sleeve already. Someone really liked that card. That's the M10 version. It's and there's Tezzeret's Gambit again. Bing, it was over a buck. Tezzeret's Gambit again. Yep, that's fine. Stuff like Ponder is uh, still very pickable. It is a 2012, it's a buck 86. It adds to the total. And we're on our way. Hopefully gonna break even. We still have this and four more fat pack boxes. Hey, Descendants Path. That's solid. Was there a land in there now? Um, so this is what I love to see. Just some random rares left um, back in the box. And I love the Therese Nielsen art on that. It's so honestly unmagic. You know what I mean? It looks, it's just like contemporary. Um, but when you really look, that has some great, awesome art there. And it's a great card too. 
Good, uh, I imagine, commander card there. Um, so, solid. We'll take it. Buried Ruin. That's a picker. Buck 17 into the pickable pile. Spirit Mantle, another one. So, on commons and uncommons, I'm, I'm getting there. Pretty decent. Throwing a Geth might be something. Yeah, that's a buck. All right, there we go. Um, not sure, be sure to call out all the ones I missed down in the comments. Ghost Quarter is one that we will pull. Uh, it was like a buck or so. Hey, ponder. There we go. So we definitely do you want to pick those. It's like a buck or two, something like that. Delver Secrets. There we go. Seems like this whole box is going to be ponders and Delver Secrets for the good stuff. It's been some okay rares. Just like a tease, basically. Faithless looting again, so we're at 85.12. Being just over a buck. And every two cards you have to flip over. Sanguinate, there's a good uncommon to pull. Wow, that's gone up a lot. 624 for an exsanguinate. Great, that's a winner. Mental misstep in a vapor snag. Invisible stalker. Oops. Yep, there's a couple of them. Bing, bing, and they were a buck or so. Parallel lives. Now that's one out of the blue that's really good. Great. So this is probably one of, oh, fourth or fifth best card out of uh, Innistrad. Wow, 16 bucks. That's a winner. Parallel Lives, three and a green enchantment. If an effect would put one or more tokens onto the battlefield under your control, it puts twice that many of those tokens onto the battlefield instead. That's our biggest hit so far. Uh, I'm very encouraged to see that there are some okay rares in this. Uh, still got what, three and a half boxes left to go through. Well, this is really weird, you guys. In keeping with the tragic theme of this channel at this point in the video my camera setup whatever component of it decided to start cutting out um, I was only getting about one frame every few seconds and that is no good for a video the audio is still there um, so when I went through editing this uh, I ended up with a pretty unusable last half of this video um, going through here I'll just kind of tell you that I found some blood artists and lightning bolts and some preordains and noxious revival and um, a couple of things like beast within and lots of bulk rares and things that were just like you'd seen in the first half of this video um, but it was not cool to watch so I'm just kind of fast forwarding through all of it and until I get to the next point where I actually find something kind of decent and you get to see that here in a minute a foil bale fire dragon Increasing confusion, 92 cents. Wow, look at this. 
I don't think I've even seen one mythic in this whole lot. And there's a foil one. Great. Veilfire Dragon. 854 got reprinted. <clears throat> Innistrad, 967 on its own. See that? Uh, foil version, 24. Awesome! Well, that's... Jeez, that's our best card here in the whole lot. That's great. 5 and 2 red, flying dragon, 6-6. Six, six. Whenever Balefire, Balefire Dragon deals combat damage to a player, it deals that much damage to each creature that player controls. GTFO your creatures. That's awesome. Okay, there's a win right there. Okay, there you have it. 83 cards totaling $210. Just barely over our uh, purchase price. Um, all said and done, when I go to sell this stuff, it won't probably break me even, but at least I had fun going through it all. I found a couple of pretty decent cards here, um, but mostly just kind of bulk pick kind of stuff. Stuff that I like to see. I like Lightning Bolts and Preordains and Delver Secrets, and it's stuff that will turn around and sell for a bit. So that's what I'm all about. Uh, anyway, if you liked watching me go through all this stuff, leave me a like, leave me a comment, leave me a subscribe. Thanks for watching. Tragic MTG, Sin, see you later.